Hey, my name is Devansh Jain. I am an undergraduate at Indian Institute of Technology, Varanasi. As a part of the Young Scientist program, I work on computing synthetic pathways for free RNA genetic molecules under the mentorship of Dr. Henderson Jim Cleaves. We all must have come across the great question of how did life arise on Earth and can it be recreated experimentally? In order to investigate the origin of life, we must investigate how the first self-replicating systems with the ability to store genetic information arose. A theory suggests that RNA was the original living molecule, which was synthesized abiotically. However, alternative nucleoside analogs could have been more readily synthesized in prebiotic conditions. We work on developing a chemi-informatic workflow to develop the potential abiotic synthesis of nucleoside analogs. And we had five different starting seed molecules. The aim is to identify from a nucleoside analog data set the best molecules which could form the basis for the first self-replicating system. The chemical reaction network comprises of nodes, the molecules and lines, the reactions. We used MOD to generate the CRNs and it produces a very complex network like this. We then ran the matching script which converted all the molecules into their inchi key representations. Then we found the matches between each CRN output and the nucleoside analog library. Each product of the CRN was iterated through the entire nucleoside library, comparing their inchi keys. We then took the identified nucleoside matches and traced them back through the network to obtain the reagent, product, and the rule of reaction in the rel or the relationship file. We identified synthetic pathways by making tree structures to determine how thermodynamically favorable these reaction pathways were. Tree structures are generally used to represent a hierarchy. Chem axon and equilibrator were used to get the thermodata. These actual data allowed us to assess the feasibility of the pathways. We also found the Gibbs free energy change or the delta G to determine the total energy of the reaction pathway. Once we have identified the best nucleoside analog matches and the most thermodynamically favored pathways for the synthesis, we can test in lab whether these computational synthetic pathways can be recreated experimentally or not. Thank you team for the wonderful collaboration through the course of project.